Daryl Strawberry, proof that you can turn your life around no matter how low things may get. The Major League legend fittingly finished his day at the Miners game, throwing out the first pitch. Moments after that, I sat down one-on-one -on -one with him, talking about what he hopes those players learned from him, and of course, getting his thoughts on all things Major League Baseball. I'm here with MLB legend Daryl Strawberry. Daryl, you spent 17 years in the major leagues, but you've spent the past 15 years traveling the country preaching God's word. Why is that so important to you? Well, first it's because the call that's up on my life. Um, my mother prayed for me, you know, when I was playing major league baseball, and she was more concerned about um, my salvation in my life than being successful. And, and as I entered into the call, I just felt like I needed to fill the promises over my life to uh, try to win the multitude of people uh, to Christ, uh, like Billy Graham was, uh, an evangelist who traveled the country and, and, and preach God's word and, and salvation so people can know that no matter what happens in your life, you're not too far where God cannot reach you and touch you and use you for his glory. If there's one thing that you hope these players took away from your talk with them today, what do you hope that is? I hope they build a character and a relationship uh, with inside of themselves with faith and, and not all these worldly opportunities. I think so many people are so consumed with that. That's why the nation is like it is. That's why young kids are losing their direction because they don't have any foundation of biblical principles. I think we need to bring that back to this nation. How do you feel that first pitch went? Oh, that went terrible. <laughs> Okay. I haven't played baseball in a long time and haven't thrown the baseball. So. And last question, what do you think the likelihood is that we could see the Mets and the Yankees in a World Series this year? It would be good for New York, uh, but it's, it's going to have to be uh, a hard chance for that to happen. It's because everything has to go right. Um, and they do have two good teams, but there's a lot of other good teams around the baseball too. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time, Daryl Strawberry. Thank you.